guys, and welcome back to another episode of Now Streaming with me, Frank Javier. And today we're talking about the much anticipated Suicide Squad. And boy, is there a lot to say about this movie. Now, don't worry, this is a uh, spoiler free review, but I do have a lot that I want to talk about. And if you did see it, and if you want to talk about it in the comments, go ahead and drop your comments and we can discuss more things there. Just please mark your comments as spoilers. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So let's first start with how was the movie? How was it? The movie is hard to describe because honestly, it is psychotic. It is a crazy ride. It's bonkers. The things that happened, it's just totally unexpected. You've never seen a comic book movie go down this road. And only James Gunn could have pulled this off. Now, the reason why I actually really enjoyed this movie, and I'm not really a huge fan of DC or the characters, or especially these characters, I don't know much about them. So I really go in not expecting a lot of it. But the re reason why I liked it is because we know the Suicide Squad is a squad of villains that are put into a situation that they need to save the world. So when you have a movie like, for example, The Avengers, who are all good, with good intentions, you know, a good moral code, and then you put the villains, you should have very two uh, different movies of opposite ends of the spectrum, right? One should be like happy, go lucky, they're saving the world, because that's what they do. They have that moral code. These guys don't have a moral code. Clearly, this movie shows that because the shit that they do, it is crazy. They let loose and they really show us what villains would do in a situation like that. They pretty much kill everybody. It is nuts. All right, so why should you watch this movie and where should you watch it? Should you watch it at home on HBO Max or should you go to the theaters? On my way to the theater, when I got there and I sat down on my seat, I tweeted and I also put on my Instagram a story saying, man, I wish I should have stayed, I would have stayed at home and watched the movie on HBO Max. You know, the snacks were so expensive, trying to get parking was so difficult. It was such a hassle to get there. I was like annoyed. But the movie starts, I watched it in IMAX, and all of those negative thought, thoughts went away. Go watch this movie in theaters. It needs to be seen in theaters, and you need to watch it in IMAX, for sure. And why should you watch this movie? It's because the movie is truly a one-of-a-kind comic book experience. You have never seen a movie like this before. James Gunn, I think he went such a different route and took a lot of risks to make this movie and to make it the way that it is, that in my opinion, is gonna, it's, it's kind of like a game changer for the comic book genre. It's going to be a masterpiece, maybe not because it will be highly loved because I think a lot of people will have different opinions on the movie, but technically as a film, it is perfection. James Gunn knows what he's doing. There's no flaws in it, but as a comic book genre movie, it's very different. It strikes a chord and I think a lot of people will try to make movies like this one from here on because they're going to see how successful this was. It's a masterpiece for the genre. So what are the things that I liked about the movie? Number one, I'll start with James Gunn. I kind of just said it a little bit just now, but the guy is truly one of the best filmmakers out there. The movie has no technical flaws from a filmmaking point of view. It is great. Also, he has a way of finding good balance between the comedy aspects of it, the human side of it, the action, the gore of it. He just really knows what he's doing on screen. And I'm so happy that WB, Warner Brothers, took the chance and let him do whatever the hell he wanted. I wish I could be in that executive uh, office, in that executive meeting of them meeting with James and him saying, listen, I wanna make this movie and this is what I wanna do. It's bonkers, it's bloody. And I just wanna see their reactions. Like, did they, did they push back or were they like, yeah, sure, go ahead and do that because it's not something that you would think would end up in theaters because of how violent it is. But it worked, it worked to his credit. So from the characters, the ones that I like the most, I'll start with, with Harley Quinn. Why did I like her? I like her because Margot Robbie just understands the character, the mannerisms, the body language, the voice. She just brings Harley Quinn to life in such a great way. 
I did have some issues with the storyline that they did for her. There's a moment where she gets proposed to get married. Uh, he offers her, you know, a, a lot of money to be with him. And she willingly like, oh, sure, this is great. Somebody loves me. Somebody wants me. I'll take that. Later on, it doesn't end up the way he wanted it, but not for the reason you would think. She ends up leaving him because apparently he was going to kill children. She's like, I can't be with you. That's a red flag. You're going to kill children. It's like, that's not really the reason why you shouldn't be with him. He's buying you because you're hot. And I don't think she would value herself by the way she looks. But that's the only issue I had with her storyline. Everything else, I loved her. She delivers great lines, comedic lines. She's always on point. She was fantastic. Then I have to talk about Idris Elba Bloodsport. He is so good. I'm so glad he got the chance to be the leading man in a, such a big movie like this because I think like we've been expecting him to be a leading man for a long, long time and it just doesn't happen. We were expecting him to be maybe the first black James Bond and that didn't happen. So it's kind of like, when is he gonna get the chance? I'm glad James Bond didn't go through because this is his moment. He shined and he was great. He had a great little arc throughout the movie with his daughter and then also with Ratcatcher trying to protect young girls. It was great. Idris Elba, my new hero. That brings me to Ratcatcher. I think she is or is going to be people's favorite. She is the heart and the emotion, the emotional side of the movie. The girl can act. She is wonderful. Who would have thought that a character that is friends with rats and controls them would be the best and the favorite of everybody. But I think the reason why we like her so much is because of the emotional aspect that she brought to the role. And there's specific moments about her backstory that really make her and elevate her in that emotional side. But it's also certain scenes, for example, where she catches Peacemaker doing something he shouldn't be doing. And her reaction to what he's doing is so great that it raises the stakes and we understand that what Peacemaker just did is despicable. And the reason we understand that is by her reaction. She was um, phenomenal. Then my other that I really enjoy, I mean, I pretty much like them all, to be honest. Uh, King Shark, loved him. He's our new Groot, except he's violent and kills everybody. But he is lovable and at the same time terrifying. Um, Rick Flagg was another one that I like. Joel Kinnerman did a great job this time around. There's unfortunately something that happens at the end that I, I don't think any of us was expecting, but it happened. We wish it didn't. However, he delivers a final line that I think will go down in the movie as not only the funniest, but the most heart-wrenching line. And he delivers it with a lot of emotion and it made the scene be even more powerful because of the way he did it, if that makes any sense. And lastly, the other one that I really enjoyed, who would have thought, was Polka Dot Man. I'm telling you, you watch the trailer and you're like, what is this guy's with like little dots all over his face? And you think, this is gonna be so stupid. No, he's, his powers, the way they brought it to the screen, beautiful. The colors, the um, how dangerous his powers were, I never would have thought that. It was an amazing skill set to have, but they also made him very sympathetic and lovable. And that's something that also ele was elevated by the actor. So Polka Dot Man, I think a lot of you will love him as well. So that brings me to the ones that I did not like. And I'll start with John Cena as Peacemaker. And it's probably not for the reason that you think. It's not because I didn't like his acting. Actually, he was really good in the movie. I think it's his best work so far for John Cena. He delivered the comedic moments that you see in the trailer very well, but there are some very serious dramatic moments at the, in the third act of, of the movie that I was like, wow, this guy has come a very long way. And he goes through a journey in the movie where we kind of don't like him, but he's funny. So we, we kind of are a little bit on his side, but by the end, you know, I, I said no spoilers, but he becomes the villain and I was not expecting that despicable character and you really feel that hate towards him and that is all John Cena that made that happen. He was good in that sense but I hated the character because he was so despicable.
So now, what did it, what did I not like about the movie? Well, I didn't like that the movie was very gory at times and for no reason. I understand that these people or these characters are villains, so they're kind of insane and crazy. They're supposed to kill. But there are moments where a lot of innocent people die and it's played for laughs and there's never any repercussions for that. So I thought that was a little bit, you know, not cool from the filmmakers. I also think that because of the violence and the gore and innocent people dying in this way, this movie will not be for everybody. A lot of kids might not like it or parents won't like their kids watching it. It might have a little bit of a division because of that aspect of the film. So in conclusion, go watch this movie. I think this movie will go down in history as a comic book movie that broke all the rules and had a visionary director like James Gunn behind the camera and it elevates the comic book genre. It will be a masterpiece, believe me. So go watch this movie. All right, guys, so that's my review for The Suicide Squad. If you watch the movie, like I said, leave your comments below. Once you watch it, come back and leave your comments below. Let's discuss, all right? Hope you like the movies, and guys, make sure to always check out my videos, and I'll see you soon, and bye-bye.